welcome to this new video, my name is Andrew and today we're going to talk about the E3. If you have been around for something like a year in this channel, I did last year a video about the E3. It was what did this E3 meant to you? And this year I wanted to make something like that. That was the expectation, but this E3 didn't mean nothing to me, so we're going to talk just about the conference. This E3 wasn't that interesting to me at all. Uh, it was quite flat, plain, I, I don't know. There were some new titles, but actually there weren't that much new titles. Yes. We're going to talk about the Microsoft. Microsoft did a great job this year. Uh, they announced a lot of new games. They announced that they acquired a lot of new software houses. They made some new game houses. So they're going to make a lot of new games probably. Uh, they have some great software houses like the one that made the Seiya Sacrifice. So it's going to be great. This was a great step for them. Uh, they announced the Game Pass with more than 100 games. So you pay something like 10 bucks for a month and you have all these games. It's a great choice, in my opinion. There were some great games like the like the driving game, uh, Forza Horizon, the Samurai one. I don't remember the names, guys. Uh, last but not least, a great announcement was the Devil May Cry 5. Everyone is waiting for that game. And definitely Nero and Dante are coming back. Yay! We, we're going to have Devil May Cry. That's all. Let's talk about Bethesda. Bethesda was nothing special, really, because everyone knew that the conference were going to be about the Fallout 76. And that's fine. I expected them to, to talk about that. The Skyrim thing was pretty funny. I really enjoyed that thing. Skyrim on the very special edition. <laughs> And yes, there's a new Elder Scrolls they're making, and that's fine. <laughs> what about Doom 2 and Rage? Well, they're great games, they're going to be funny probably, and that's all. I mean, I'm not so hot for these games, because actually I didn't play the, the Rage one. Probably fans are going to, to appreciate that. Now let's talk about the PlayStation 1. The PlayStation 1. The PlayStation 1 actually was... I'm just kidding, it was quite uh, expected. And the biggest hype probably is about for The Last of Us 2 and the Spider-Man. Spider-Man actually is going to be a great game. It seems funny and the plot is really interesting. That's probably the greatest game we can wait about Spider-Man. And yeah, Spider-Man, that's a great game. And now we're going to talk about the Ubisoft. That software house that makes great conferences, great shows, but actually the games most of the time sucks. Letting apart the cringe moment when they were dancing and announcing the Just Dance 4 or 5 or 6, I don't remember guys the names. Damn. All the show and the thing was quite good. I mean, Ubisoft really knows, knows his job. They make really good shows. I wish there was something more about the behind good and evil, but that's fine. I mean, they're probably working hard and the new trailer was amazing, I really enjoyed that. And the most important thing was that they actually uh, called all the fans, all the artists, musicians, to make pieces for them. And you can upload this stuff on hitrecord.org, so just go there and put your stuff there. And they're going to choose some artwork and music to put on the space radio and stuff like that. That's pretty interesting. I'm thinking to participate on that, obviously, because I love Behind Good and Evil. And they're going to credit you and they're going to pay you something, so that's, that's fine. I mean, it's a great choice. And now let's talk about the Nintendo. Guys, this year Nintendo just sucked. <laughs> Sorry every fan of Nintendo, but it was really... There was something really wrong with this conference. It was a recorded thing, so I know that, I understand that. But come on guys, you are Nintendo, you can't just post 15 minutes of random trailers without explaining nothing and then spend 25 to 1 hour, 2 hours, I don't know. Talking about Smash Bros 2, I totally understand there are a lot of fans that love Smash Bros, but I'm not a fan of that. I don't have a Nintendo at all and I honestly can't imagine why I should buy a Nintendo. 
this wasn't interesting at all. It was not cool. Actually, it was boring. I was waiting there for something new. They just went deep inside of the ch charter. It seemed they have nothing to announce, nothing new. So this was the three guys. It was quite a failure to me. I didn't like that. You probably understood at this point that I didn't like that. The main problem in the AAA studios probably is that they are having this lack of ideas. You know, the Hollywood crisis of ideas. It's probably happening to the AAA games. This is why the indie games are doing well, are doing well, because they can actually do new stuff, new shit without caring about to lose a lot of money. Well guys, this is the end. Hope you enjoyed this video. I really complained a lot. I'm being an old man with a long white beard, so you need to understand me. If you like the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a dislike. Please leave a comment down in the comment section. Tell me what did this E3 meant to you, if you liked, which are the games you are waiting for. If you don't agree with me, tell me why don't you agree with me. If you won't, you can come to my Discord channel, we're having some talk time to time there. Please subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to it. I know we are over 100 now and it's very an awesome thing. I'm going to make a 100 subs video, obviously, so <laughs> keep making games and see you next time!